Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Say you got one document, and you want to compare the text in that document against text in another document. You could eyeball the changes, but you'll probably go blind in the process, because it's not incredibly easy to do if you don't have the right tool. And let's say you want to add another document to the mix and compare these documents against one another. Three different documents? How are you going to be able to pull that off? Well, you could download and install some kind of tool, or you could use a web-based tool like the one I'm about to show you, comparemydocs.com. It's beta. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. You don't need to install anything because it exists on the web. Quite simply, uh, you start out by choosing your .doc, .docx, or .rtf files, because, yeah, you have to have more than one because you can't compare one document against itself. It's, it's kind of pointless. Uh, you can upload multiple documents at the same time, and when you are done, you will be presented with different versions of the same document side by side, right here within the web browser. Nothing to install. You can go ahead and do editing. You can do comparisons right here within the interface. That's what I like about it. It just exists here in the web browser, which we all have, we all use, and hopefully we all love. Now, I happen to upload three different documents, but it's probably not going to help me a lot in saying, oh, wait, no, it's saying that was different here, and it's making a suggestion to replace what was done in this document with what was done in that document. There's another correction here. I could choose to accept the suggestion, move to scrapboard, hide the suggestion, or reject the suggestion. If I scroll down, it's got a handful of text there, and then we get to the real interesting stuff. It's saying what's different. It's pointing it out for me automatically, and I'm comparing three different documents, admittedly. I, I would have a better time in comparing three documents at different stages of revision you know, because that's the idea of comparing documents. You know you've got one document, another document, same thing, just saved at different dates. You knew something changed, you just couldn't find it easily. That's when you'd want to use a tool like this. Nothing to install, it's free, and it exists right now at comparemydocs.com. Compare, recombine, and merge your document revisions. My email address, chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other helpful websites that happen to be floating out there that we could all use right now, or at least at some point in the future. Got our community of technology enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com, and there's activity happening even this late at night. You can't tell, but it's actually 12.58, really? Oh, 12.48. <laughs> no, 12.58. I can't read blinking lights, apparently. It is that late. You're more than welcome to join us in the chat room, which is typically talking tech. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me uh, go ahead and pull that up for you here. I got a little widget. You can download a widget to your desktop if, if you want to, to watch the live video feed in, in the chat room with the live video feed. Uh, and see, this is, this is it right here. This is me. I'm talking right now. Of course, I've got it on mute so you can't hear me. Then I, there's a chat room right there. See, but they're not a part of this video because I'm recording it in a, in a non-live live capacity. Oh, this is so meta. <clears throat> anyway, you're welcome to join us here in the chat room. Typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.